friends today we'll see how to draw this cycloid first i'll tell what is cycloid when circle rolls along a straight line without slipping then path traced by a point on the circumference of a circle is nothing but cycloid and how to draw the cycloidal curve so for that what is required for the cycloidal curve we need its diameter of that circle rolling circle so let us consider diameter 50 mm and then we'll see step by step procedure of drawing the cycloid so first while drawing the cycloid what you do always draw horizontal line then it's intersecting vertical while drawing the circle always draw such intersecting line so that it is going to be the center of a circle and with this center we can draw the circle with 50 mm diameter 50 mm diameter means exactly you have to take 25 in the compass in the compass your distance should be 25 mm and then draw the circle with 25 mm radius so this is going to be 25 mm radius and once we draw the circle then divide this circle into eight equal parts for that the procedure is very simple two additional lines with 45 mm uh, 45 degree angle so those lines are going to be like this one will be with this edge and second will be with this edge so this angle is exactly 45 so this is the division of circles into eight equal parts now from the lower most point draw the tangent draw the tangent it will be like and on this tangent we have to mark pi d distance when circle rolls for one complete revolution it covers pi d distance and that pi d distance is going to be pi into d that means diameter so pi into 50 it is going to be 157 mm it is 157 mm so this 157 mm you have to mark on this horizontal line and that 157 it will be 150 155 and it is going to be 157 so that 157 so first to uh, we have divided this circle into eight equal parts for that also you give the names and those names will be like this so let us start with one it's two then it's three it's four five six it's seven and it is eight similarly we have to divide this 157 mm distance also from this to this into eight equal parts means this point is going to be eight then how to make its equal divisions 157 if we divide it by eight it is going to be a fraction then for that we have to see how the line can be divided into equal number of parts for that procedure is very simple so we can mark any inclined line preferably that angle should be in between 10 to 20 degree any angle so randomly you can take the angle and then mark such inclined line then after that in the compass take some random distance so if i take this much distance then cut the arc with this distance then shift the center on that arc again cut the another arc so 1 2 then this is 3 equal distances 7 and 8 means i have made the eight equal parts of this inclined line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and now you have to join this last point and this pi d distance eighth point or before that so one thing you can from pi d distance uh, one light vertical line so this is the 
wide a distance and we have to make it eight equal parts then for that now i'll this join this a i have made eight equal parts of this inclined line and that eighth part join with this end point end point and now easily we can make it say eight equal divisions how after this draw a parallel line through all these eight points like this see in this way we have divided this pi d distance pi d distance into eight equal parts so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 means drawing the circle with 50 mm diameter dividing into eight equal parts then marking pi d distance and that distance also it has been divided into eight equal parts by the proper procedure by marking the inclined line then after this carefully observe what we have to do so whatever these eight parts of the circle are there so from all these points draw the horizontal lines from eight already it is there from one so that line will definitely it will pass through if the divisions are same then it will pass through seven also so this is the line then 2.6 already we have marked then 3 and 5 and then 4 similarly from all the points on the horizontal line from 1 to 8 draw the vertical lines also and all these lines you have to mark with scale it, it is not going to be difficult task when circle is rolling along the straight line means along this lower line its center is going to be at this point initially and then it will go on moving like this so it is going to be c1 it is going to be c2 it is going to be c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 and finally in one rotation it will reach at point 8 and well in the beginning so it is going to be at c at this point so when center is at c point is going to be at a if we consider that starting point is on the surface or on the lower mo most place then it is going to be p so this is going to be a beginning of the cycloidal curve and now how to get the additional eight points for that see the pro procedure in a proper way it is going to be always simple once if you understand neatly so in the compass take put the compass at the center and in the compass take distance equal to radius distance equal to its radius so this is the distance equal to radius and when center is at c point is at p now center will shift at c1 means when circle is rolling along the straight line its center will trace a straight line path and that path is nothing but c c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 c8 then put the compass at c1 and cut the line uh, cut the arc on a horizontal line passing through one so how we can mark so this is the arc on line passing through one then shift the center don't change the radius it is going to be 25 mm only don't change the radius i now cut the arc cut the arc on a line passing through point two so this is point two then shift 
decomposite C3. Then again cut the arc on a line passing through 3. So this is 3. And when we shift the centroid C4, then this point will be at this place only, P4. So right at the top. So it is going to be P4 point. Then shift the center on C5 and cut the arc on a line passing through 5. Don't come backward. So you have to move in a forward direction. So this is going to be a point. So it is the intersection. Then shift on 5. First we will mark the arc. This is the arc. Then 6. Same distance in the compass. And line passing through 6 is this horizontal line. Cut the arc. Then 7, this is the line. And then 8, means finally we come to this last point. If 8 is there, this is going to be a point. Even though if we cut the arc, it will match with this. So, it is going to be a point. So, like this, we get the 8 points. Then wherever this arc intersects the horizontal lines passing through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so there you are supposed to mark the points and these points are going to be initially P then at the intersection just I will increase little bit thickness uh, initial point is P then P1 then P2 so it is P3 P4 right at the top P5 P6 P7 and finally P8. So now we can draw the smooth curve passing through these eight points and it is nothing but it is going to be a cycloidal curve. How to draw? In your eyesight all these points should be there and move the pencil with the concentration. So observe it carefully. This is what the cycloidal curve. Then at the end, apart from this, what is the requirement? Dimensioning at the same time, if possible, naming. Dimensioning is must. And which dimensions we have to give, that I will tell. So, the most important dimensions are, so what is going to be? this pi d distance. So this it is the pi d distance which is going to be at the end draw the field arrows having proportion 1 is to 3 and mark pi d is equal to 157 or directly 157. So this is 157. At the same time, so whenever circle is there, it is better to give the dimensioning like this. So one of the line which is inclined at an angle of 45 degree, you can extend it and then make it horizontal. And here we can write 550. So this is the diameter of a circle and it is the pi d distance. And afterwards, you can think of giving the names if you are writing it excellent. And those names are going to be, it is P, it's P1, P2, P3, P4 already I have given, P5, P6, P7 and it is P8. So this is the cycloidal curve with 50 mm diameter. Thank you.